I'm Matt Skinner, wine writer, wine judge, consultant, and plum ambassador. And we're here in downtown sunny Melbourne, and we're on the way to my office. So welcome to my world. This is where I do my day-to-day. So that involves lots of tasting. So every Monday we're in here and we're tasting uh, around about 100 wines or thereabouts. And that sort of fuels uh, the, the basis of what makes up my column. So for Sunday Life uh, in The Age and the Sydney Morning Herald, um, for BBC Good Food magazine, for Gourmet Traveller Wine, and for Home Beautiful, I consult to a couple of different restaurant groups, uh, most importantly the Van Handel Group here in Melbourne. Um, we have Stoke House, Cutler & Co, Com, Ladro, a couple of cafes as well. I might be biased, but I think if you took a little bit of um, Paris' style, New York sophistication, um, I think if you took a little bit of Barcelona's kind of artistic flair and you sort of combined that all in a city, say, the size of San Francisco, you'd work you'd, with, a, with an independence all of its own, you'd end up with something like Melbourne. I remember growing up at school um, in the 80s and sort of we'd sit around in the schoolyard and every kid's lunchbox was different. You know, you'd have kids that had like Vegemite sandwiches and a piece of fruit. You'd have other kids that were sort of having, you know, prosciutto and a wedge of parmesan cheese and other kids having masaka. The, the thing that made this city special was its people. And I think that's played a, an enormous part in its development as one of the world's preeminent food and wine destinations. You know, I guess in my 17 years in wine, I've, um, I've, I've spent half that time in retail, so I've sold a lot of wine-specific glassware. Um, I spent the other half of that time as a sommelier, working in different restaurants um, around the world, and I've broken my fair share of it as well. So I probably know a fair bit about it. I certainly know the importance um, of a decent glass, you know, and the impact that that will make on, on, on wine. You know, I was, I was amazed that when I did get the brief from Plum that, you know, A, there was only five shapes in the range, which was genius. There wasn't, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different shapes. Um, they were manufactured three different ways, so easy to understand. And most importantly, I didn't need to have been to university in, under- in order to understand how they work. And I love the fact that it was something that was born out of Melbourne. You know, this was a, an idea put together by a team in Melbourne. Um, it was all about simplicity, practicality and affordability. That was it. And, you know... Um, I, I spend my life talking to people about wine and, and communicating uh, all things wine and one thing I, I always urge people to do is to get themselves a decent set of glasses because that makes all the difference to the experience and that's what these do. Mm-hmm.